It's all fake. It's it's all a conspiracy. It's all fake. It's all a conspiracy. Shut up. Welcome to Hot uh, Hello, folks. This is uh, Rifat Barry from Barry Science Lab. Today, I'm going to be taking the interview of Shabon Isaac Barry. He's a world-renowned physicist and mathematician who has been interviewed by many world leaders, including President Barack Obama and uh, President Drew Faust of uh, Harvard University. He's also the author of the best-selling book, The Love, and uh, we are grateful to have him on our show. So uh, thank you for uh, coming. So today's topic is, is the moon landing a hoax? So, Mr. Barry, uh, what are your thoughts on this matter? The moon landing is real, period. Three astronauts on July 20, 1969, landed on the moon. Commander Neil Armstrong. Buzz Aldrin and Michael Collins. Neil Armstrong, the commander, and Buzz Aldrin went out to collect rock for research, and Michael Collins stayed inside the ship. And that is proof that the moon landing was real. Completely bogus. The moon landing was a hoax. Neil Armstrong. Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, never landed on the moon in July 20, 1969. All a hoax. Do you even have any evidence that this old dick is all a hoax? Seriously, do you have any evidence to support this? I have a lot of reasons, but let's start with the first reason, right? Uh, the flags. Have you ever seen a photograph of Neil Armstrong saluting the American flag? Yes, yeah. every one of us has saw it. Everyone's seen it. But if you look closely, you'll see that the flag is waving in that photo. But we all learn in elementary school, the moon has no air. How can the flag wave where there is no air? Boom. That's Ser a flaw. Seriously? Wait, your brain is flew out of your head. Actually, the flag is made out of tin foil, And you should know that. So... Uh, it was just basically a uh, phone stick painted white attached to a uh, scrap piece of tin foil, paint uh, with the American flag symbol painted on it. So the uh, the flag or tin foil really was dented and bent to uh, look like it was fluttering, but it was actually stationary. Okay, well, even if the flag is tinfoil, on to my next point, the spacesuits. Have you ever seen a video of the spacesuits actually working? No, because we don't know that the spacesuit's cooling systems work. We don't know that the membrane that makes up the spacesuits even work. It's all fake. It's, it's all a conspiracy. It's all fake. It's all a conspiracy. Shut up! Where is your mind these days? From my five-hour research compared to your five-minute research, I found that these suits were actually tested in a large vacuum chamber in Ohio, where 99.98% of all the air was pumped out, and the suits worked. So that is proof that these suits worked. Well, let's move on to my third reason, which is the shadows. Have you, have you ever seen a photo of the astronauts standing on the moon? Yes, everybody has yeah. seen them. Everybody's seen them, right. But if you look carefully, you'll always see there is two shadows, sometimes even more shadows on the astronauts on the moon. But on Earth, there are only one shadow. So how is it possible to have more than one shadow on the moon? Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. On Earth, there's one shadow, right? One comes from the sun and one from the moon in each portion of the day. But when you're on the moon, they're not defined day or night. So both the sun and the Earth shine on the moon at the same time. And, and the sun and the Earth create both two shadows. And the Earth side is much greater than the moon side. 
So there is your third reason to bump. I can't wait to hear your fourth reason. Maybe it's yada yada like before. It's not even a good reason. For all we know, those lights could be the reflection of Hollywood cameras. Someone might have made a mistake, but I won't uh, waste time. I need to interview someone else. Uh, fourth reason. Why haven't we gone back to the moon since 1969? Have you been living under a rock lately? <laughs> That's why you haven't interviewed me for so long. They didn't go to the moon once in 1969. But actually, one, two, three, four, five, six times. We first landed on the moon in uh, Apollo 11, 1969. Then we landed on the moon the second, for the second time on Apollo 12, 1969. Then uh, Apollo 14 came in 1971. Then we landed Apollo 15 in 1971 also. Apollo 16 was in 1972 and so was Apollo 17. So we have gone to the moon one, two, three, four, five, six times since 1972. And 12 astronauts walked on the surface of the moon. There. On to my next reason, which is why haven't we gone back to the moon since 1972? Because it's like Donald Trump haven't provided funding for NASA. So they don't have enough resources or money to go back to the moon or Mars. That's why they're planning the Mars trip five years later. If only Trump and other presidents were so smart, they could have planned it like 2020 or something. Well, I have many more reasons, but I have to interview other guests, not just you. So I'll just give uh, 20 more reasons. Uh, number one is, uh, is uh, Yara, 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 nonsense! I won the debate, and then you know. You don't get to say who won the debate. All right, folks. If you think that I, Rifat Bari, have won this debate, comment below to support me. And if you think I won this debate, which I obviously did. Comment my name down below, which is Isaac Bear. to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.